Excellency, we would want to invite at this juncture the first gentleman of the land, His Excellency, <laughs> President of the Republic of Ghana, <laughs> Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu. And to help us do this will be our Chancellor, <laughs> Professor Robert Osei Bonsu. Valley View University citation. His Excellency, President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. On behalf of Valley View University, it is with great honor and privilege that we extend our heartfelt congratulations and sincere appreciation to Your Excellency, Nana Adudankwa Akufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana, for your exceptional leadership and significant contributions to the nation. We commend Your Excellency's unwavering commitment to fostering sustainable development, promoting socioeconomic transformation, and uplifting the lives of Ghanaians. Under Your visionary guidance, Ghana has witnessed remarkable strides in various sectors, including education, health, infrastructure, and innovation. Your government's prioritization of education has been particularly noteworthy through initiatives such as the free senior high school policy, the expansion of tertiary education, and the establishment of technical and vocational training centers, you, Your Excellency, have demonstrated a steadfast dedication to providing accessible and quality education to the youth, thereby empowering them with the tools necessary for a prosperous future. Furthermore, Your Excellency, F14, promoting digitization and innovation have played a pivotal role in advancing Ghana's technological landscape. The National Digital Transformation Agenda and the creation of the National Information Technology Agency have accelerated digital connectivity, e-governance, and the digital economy, positioning Ghana as a regional leader in the digital sphere. We commend your commitments to environmental sustainability as demonstrated through initiatives such as the Green Ghana Project and the National Cleanup Campaign. Your leadership in addressing climate change and promoting sustainable practices reflect a deep understanding of the urgent need to protect our environment for future generations. Valley View University is proud to acknowledge Your Excellency's distinguished leadership and transformative vision, which have inspired countless Ghanaians and garnered international recognition. Your commitment to upholding democratic principles, promoting peace and fostering national unity exemplify the true spirit of servant leadership. In recognition of Your Excellency's outstanding contribution to the nation, Valley University is privileged to present you with a citation as a token of our deepest respect and admiration. We are grateful for your relentless efforts in advancing Ghana's development agenda and the positive impact you continue to make in the lives of Ghanaians. May the Almighty grant you wisdom, strength, and good health as you steer Ghana towards greater heights. Ajiko. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Indeed, this is beautiful. And for the next couple of seconds, 
we want to recognize this. His Excellency Khadija Idrisu, the Ghana High Commissioner to Zambia. Presently, you are welcome. Honorable Juliana Pedopo, DC Adaklu, Volta, Region Via. Please, you are recognized. All protocol observed. Your Excellency want to move on with our program. By inviting, once again, the first gentleman of the land to make his first remarks. Shall we? Your Excellency, is it His Excellency the President of Zambia first? For, and then you follow. Thank you. So, His Excellency, President Hakainde Hachalema. Thank you very much, Director of Ceremonies. Let me start by recognizing the President, President of the Republic of Ghana, our President, and First Lady, but also recognize former President, recognize former First Lady, it's also my duty to recognize the leadership in its totality of the Valley View University in its totality. <laughs> Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, all of the leadership and the management, obviously, the students. You can't have any university without students. So students, general workforce. I know there are senior government officials that are present here, ministers, public servants, business colleagues, sometimes, Mr. President, I forget that uh, I'm now head of state. I always remember my business colleagues and still think I'm in business. But uh, business colleagues, obviously my dear wife, uh, who is present in the interest of time, surely simply to say, all oh, the distinguished professors, doctors, Ladies and gentlemen, it's truly humbling for me to stand before you today. It's humbling in the sense that when the president sent me the invitation for a state visit, and we did a lot of good work this afternoon, Zambia, Ghana have executed a number of areas of cooperation which are extremely important once delivered properly, effectively, to advancing the Ghanaian economy, the Zambian economy, to deliver value to our citizens, Ghanaians and Zambians. That's the reason we take public office. We live private lives to pursue public office to better the lives of those that put us in office. We, the servants, better the lives of the masters, those who vote us in office in our constitutional democracies. I want to thank the president for leading the Ghanaian people and his team. And obviously, if I may return to the reason I'm standing here wearing something different which I wore last 
when I was doing my master's somewhere, is to say thank you to Valley View University for amongst, not millions, but billions of people around the world to decide to include this fellow speaking here from Zambia as one of the four that have been conferred with these prestigious degrees. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. Thank you to your selection panels for settling on the four of us. I know the other three are distinguished citizens of Ghana, Africa, and the world. But to join these, to be amongst the four, we are truly grateful to this university. I want to say the university must continue doing what it's doing to humanity. Education is the best investment, the best equalizer, and the best inheritance. Nothing beats education. Two children, one from the vulnerable family, another from a well-to-do family. I had to use word, the word poverty. I hate it, because no one is poor. We are all endowed with a lot of talent. It's a question of growing that talent and working at it consistently. But two children with different backgrounds that go through school, including universities like this, once they graduate, there's no difference. There's no distance between the two of them. They are the same. So I want to encourage Valley View University, other universities, other colleges, schools, Mr. President, in this great republic of Ghana, on our African continent, to continue what they are doing. But for us in public office, running public affairs, to allocate sufficient resources, human, financial, technology, and others in the area of education. There is no single country that is doing well economically, socially today that did not invest in the education of its people. There is none. So it is sensible to invest in education of all our children, irrespective of their backgrounds. And truly, thereafter, on this platform, of skills, diversified skills, we have a chance to develop our economies and therefore to look after the weak, the sick, the children, the retired, the differently abled in our society. So, Mr. President, and the leadership of this university, I, was, I will not take too much of your time, but simply use the opportunity to underscore that being the first Adventist occupying public office at this level, because there are many, but at this level, is not an honor. It's actually an obligation to run public office at this level and do it properly. <laughs> Skill set is one, but values, Christian values, religious values, I dare say the body of Christ is one. Different churches, doesn't matter. But we share a common thread of having certain minimum attributes that we should carry and be proud to carry those. Honesty, hard work, fairness, equity. I'm, I didn't say equality, I said equity. The two are different. justice, and truly, I dare say it, to recognize and acknowledge the difference that this is private property, private money, this is public money, and public money must work for the people who own the money. 
the citizens of our countries. Cor corruption. I'm talking about the knowledge that you cannot access what is not yours, but use and manage that effectively to deliver value for those who put you in public office. I think that comes with Adventism, that comes with Christianity, that comes with other religious bodies. And I'm not here to say Christianity is the only one that carries a trace. Others, Hindus, Muslims, the list is long. So we use these values that we have brought out in our families, in our churches, in our organizations, and make them available to the service of our citizens and humanity at large. The dislike for conflict, instability, dislocation, just basic good mannerisms. I want to thank our church, church in Ghana here, church in Zambia. I have some of our leaders, Adventist leaders from Zambia are here. Mr. President, in this hall today. Also, our divisional leaders, I see one seated behind there. He actually looks like a Ghanaian himself. <laughs> Southern Africa division. And lastly, to simply encourage our church to evangelize to be positive contributors to society and to work. Mr. President, at home I say we in public office are not in competition with churches. The churches serve the very people that we serve. So we are partners. So I want to encourage the church here to continue being a partner to the government of Ghana. in many areas. That's a meeting point. The government this side, the church that side, other organizations. This is the intersection. This is this, if you like, convergence point. That's my encouragement. And other churches as well. In this, our Board of Christ, which is one. I want to thank my wife for having been a positive influence to this fellow here. She's a Dorcas mother. She's a Dorcas mother. And we do a lot of things in the house together, including singing. But I will not embarrass her today because my voice is hoarse. Gulangi la guangu gonse. Gulimu bulo wa wa we dasho majeso alige bo wagandi salulula jeso alige ndi bwe oyo zimana. Bless you. Thank you, Excellency. Shall we give it up once again? These are deep words for our pondering. We ponder over these words, and we are inspired by your words. Thank you, Your Excellency. And then before, we have the first gentleman of the land. I'm trying to be very careful in choosing my words, in describing the next person to speak. Just a, a few words he has on his heart to share. We'll take the mic to him. And that will be the former president, John Ajikum Kufuo.
Mr. Chancellor, Your Excellency Nanadu Dankwa Kufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana, Your Excellency Mr. Hakainde Echilema, President of the Republic of Zambia, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I stand on the prior protocols earlier established at this congregation and wish all of you well. I am proud to stand on behalf not only of myself, but also uh, my two other awardees this afternoon, who are Nana Kunedu Adiman Rawlings, our former First Lady, and uh, Honorable Akosia Fremose Opare, the current Chief of Staff at the Presidency, to express our appreciation for the honor the university has done us by conferring on us today honorary doctorate degrees. It is not too much for us to assume that we are sharing these honors because of the recognized outstanding public service in our respective fields of endeavor that we have each rendered to our nation, Ghana. I may therefore not be wrong to state that all three of us share the distinction of public service with quality leadership. Indeed, we all three believe in public service that ensures inclusiveness, equality of opportunity, that eschews discrimination on the basis of gender, race, religion, tribe, or social standing. We all also staunchly believe in, the, in human dignity. Ladies and gentlemen, Quality public service in a democracy such as ours should acknowledge individual citizens from whom all power emanates as the real sovereign authority of the land. The principles of accountability and transparency of office holders to the people that emanate from this acknowledgement should be upheld as inviolable for good governance. My friends, Valley View University and I have a very special relationship. It was the first private university institution as a tertiary institution. And I'm proud to say that it was my government that accorded them that feat in 2006. So we are happy to observe the sterling and purposeful performance of this university so far and wish you continued success. The university must be proud to know that because of its good pace setting, over a hundred other private institutions have followed it to become accredited since then. To the students of this university, I must say that you must consider yourselves privileged to be witnessing this congregation today. Today, you have the President of our Republic, Nanado Dankwa Kufuado, here with you. Then, you have four great public service achievers joining your university's alumni. And as you have observed, our brother, the president of Zambia, is one of them. Our former first lady, Nana Kunedu Ajiman Rawlings, is another. And also, Honorable Freema Oseo the Chief of Staff of Ghana's Presidency, 
It's yet one. And of course, I, I bring up the rear as the fourth. This should inspire you to believe that with assiduity and integrity in your studies here, you all stand a good chance of becoming someday members of a glorious band of personalities who distinguish themselves in the service of their nation and humanity. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I realize that the theme of this congregation, as I've been made to understand, and I quote, is maintaining excellence, integrity, and service in the era of global instability and permissiveness. Several millennia ago, the great Greek philosopher, Plato wrote, and I quote him, excellence is not a gift, but a skill that takes practice. We do not act rightly because we are excellent. In fact, we achieve excellence by acting rightly, end of quote. This insightful observation should guide us in our search for ways to maintain excellence, integrity, and service in an era of global instability and permissiveness. In sum, the key to our search must be to try to act rightly under all circumstances. Firstly, we have to do right by the laws of the land. Then, we must also be guided by a keen awareness and appreciation of our nation's position in the global context. And finally, we must uphold the centrality of humanity in all our worthy endeavors, wherever we find ourselves. Living by this tenet will not be a mean task to do, but surely you will have fulfilled your conscience and you can sleep well. And this is among the highest of all virtues. So I end by wishing your university, the Valley View University, long life. I also so say long live our country, Ghana, and long live Africa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, His Excellency, the former president. Thank you very much. We had heard a former president wish the university long life, except to say he said, I wish your university long life, just by way of reminder, he is now an alumnus of this university. This is his university. We thank you so much, sir.